also, you may be wondering if you're watching this on YouTube, considering that this is our annual best of the worst of sexy ha Halloween costumes. This is the hollow worst. You may be wondering, why is Tara the only one who appears to be festive? Why isn't Nash in a costume? Well, that's a good question. Tonight is October 24th. And because YouTube is a hellscape, I have to try to keep, continue to keep the bills paid. Um, I'm releasing this one before Halloween so we can get some views signed up on it because next week would have been on Halloween. We would have had the show. Yeah. And we'll be in costume next week for, for, the, for, the, for the regular bit. So don't worry, we'll be doing that. But this week, no, no, no costumes for us this week. This week, we're just going to, to criticize other costumes. Now, we have some ground basic rules for this. We don't accept submissions for people who just make up costumes and take pictures of it and put it on Instagram. No. That's not quite the same thing. Anyone can do terrible shit like that. Literally, if you go to any Halloween party, there's going to be someone there in a terrible homemade costume. That's not special. No, what, what we make, what we, what we do here is we look at the ones that come from somewhat, they went through a um, production process. It had to be bad. It's on an inventory. It's got a UPC. This was actually mass fucking produced. That's what we are concerned with. And what trips us up is not sexiness, not being sexy. Be sexy at Halloween. Have fun. Do whatever the fuck you want. What our issue is, is the subject and implications of what you have decided to wear for Halloween. Yeah. So. With should your costume exist at all? And more so, should your costume be sexy? Be sexified. Yeah, and and um, oh my God, the the when we got to the top three this year. It was it was a whole depth. I, I, this is some bad ones, but the the top three here was like just oh no, what have you done? So prepare yourselves. Let's get started with I guess relatively benign, just baffling on this one. Um. Uh, let's see if it's over here. The pretty pencil costume. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. The, the, the pretty. I like the purse. Yeah, no mistakes, because it's, it's an eraser. You get it? Yeah. You get it? Even though the eraser should be at the bottom, which the implication here is you're going to rub your ass on things. Okay, I, I guess it's. Which is often a mistake, ironically. Yeah. <laughs> um, who is sitting around in any context who's got a number two in hand and is thinking, you know what? I'm putting this in my dick. Well, I think we actually have done stories of people doing that before. To an extent that they need to mass produce a sexy pencil costume? Yeah, like... I want to I want to talk to the girl buying this. I want to like, talk you know she's, she's going to go on a bar crawl on Halloween. She needs a costume. She wants to look sexy so maybe she can get a Halloween hookup. I want I want to talk to the dude who was at the the company that designed this who insisted that women had to dress up like sexy pe uh pencils like Dave really? I don't I don't get it. No, it's very important to me. That women are dressed up like sensi pencils. Dave? No, it's just got to do this. Moral imperative. Someone had a very specific set of... Yeah. Next up... Oh, uh, boy. It, it would not be the hollow worst if someone wasn't spoiling people's childhoods. That's just, you know... No, it really wouldn't. Par for the course. And we're going to go with... um. You might not be so familiar with this. You might be. You might surprise me on this. Do you know the Waluigi? See, I've right. heard that word. There's Wario, who is like the dark Mario. So there's Waluigi, who is the dark Luigi. Because there's a mythos here. Okay, are they like evil? Yeah, mostly they just have mustaches. Like, like evil mustaches. Like, but the 
original ones have mustaches. Yes, but these are evil mustaches. Like they're pointy. Oh. They have angles. Okay. And what do they do? They like clog your pipes instead of cleaning them? Like I, I don't know. But okay. th- this is part of another thing about the Hollow Worst. It's not just the, the bad costumes, it's the laziness of them. And this one is some lazy fucking shit. That is, it is the, uh, the quote unquote gamer baddie gamer costume. Because we're going to skirt around those, uh, those copyrights and trademarks there. It's. Why do her boobs have eyebrows? Those, that's the mustache. That's Sorry, the, why do her boobs have a mustache? Right, exactly. That's the Waluigi mustache. But instead of actually giving her the Waluigi mustache, they had to put it on her boobs because otherwise. She would have to go out trying to be sexy with the with the with the wah mustache. It's just no, oh, because you could do a necklace or something <laughs> with a mustache on it. <laughs> no, no, tit stash. There you go. Does she offer mustache rides? Oh god. And you also got a feel for the models you're seeing in this because they're just getting a buck, even though they're dressing them up ridiculous. They've got you know, they aren't choosing to wear this. It's poor girl. She's like, whatever. It's paycheck. And speaking of lazy costumes, um, I think I mentioned earlier this year, I was walking around the snack aisle. I was like, every fucking thing is flaming hot. Every goddamn thing. <laughs> there was flaming hot Mountain Dew. And I was like, what's happening? Yeah, I know, right? I don't even dare. I haven't dared. I won't dare. Um, This one... Not only is, of course, there's a tr- every year there's a trend. Someone has to make a sexy costume out of it. This one's just so fucking lazy. Jesus Christ. Spirit Halloween. I, I, I thought better of you. I expected better of you. The adult uh, flaming hot Cheetos dress costume. Which, if, if we'll zoom in here and have a look. It is essentially just a wraparound Okay. That's a Cheetos bag. And red fishnets. That's that's it. That's the entire maybe she's got a cheesy cheddar cheesy bandana. Although that she probably doesn't get that accessory because most of these they, they don't get yeah, it's, yeah. It's a dress. But oh wait, it does include dress headband. Okay. Didn't say anything about the fishnets though. Notes, shoes, tights, and Cheeto bags sold separately. That's you're gonna have to get your own Cheetos. This is so I'm flaming hot, really. That's that's what you went for there. Yeah. I I, I don't know if you've had flaming hot Cheetos, but I have not. I, I don't know how anyone could have those and maintain an erection at the same time. They are that distracting. And not in the fun way. You're like, have you ever been in so much pain? You're like, you know what? Never sex. No, we're not doing that. No, no. Uh-uh. No comment. Last thing I want to fucking do. Literally. I feel like if you're going to do this costume, uh-huh. you have a certain responsibility mm-hmm. to cover yourself in like orange body paint and some kind of powder. For authenticity's sake, so that if anybody touches you, they get orange fingers. Yeah, that would, yeah. Like, that would be clever. Now, moving along, I, we never want to, anyone to feel like we're picking on one particular gender. Because um, bad, sexy costumes, they, they, they know no, no gender. They, they, they don't discriminate. God help us. Stupid is for everybody. This is just so bad on so many levels. I is this really doing it for anybody? The pony men's role play costume outfit. Is this? He's trying to sell it. Bless him. Look at I bet him. those chains would break with like the tiniest little yeah. tug. I. It, I mean, I think it's only twenty five ninety nine. The suspenders. <laughs> Tom says, is that Sasha Baron going? No. 
the 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 suspenders. You know the thought that came into my head. What? I wish the number on the top was four two six zero one. Then you just put a, a baguette. <laughs> Maybe down the pants. <laughs> and it's sexy Jean Valjean. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. <laughs> I, this is this. I'm going to put it to the, 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 the channel because this isn't even on my side of the street. Is this doing it for anybody? Really? <laughs> like, take the model out of it, okay? The model may be, sure, just the outfit. Imagine if that was on anybody else. Would that be doing it for you, really? No. I write. Just... What if it was Hugh Jackman? Okay, well, yeah. So With it's... a baguette. <laughs> I like bread. <laughs> It's very so for you. It's contextual. So this this by itself, yeah. yeah. Like if it was if it was sexy Jean Valjean, I'd kind of be like, all right, it's funny. I don't know why it's funny, but it's funny. Next up, we Maybe quite... it's the saddest book ever written. Next up, we, we I dreamed a wet dream. Oh god. <laughs> so so this one, we we get costumes on here that are not just confusing as the subject matter just confusing in general this one's a bit yeah. muddled i i all right i'm gonna if this is a mojito costume i'm gonna appreciate the word muddled <laughs> it's not it's that, it's that. Uh. what what is what what is going on here this is there, there are things happening that that i don't understand I, you're like a Candyland character, I think. Yeah, but the costume itself is what? What is, the fuck? Like, I swear to God, when I first saw this, I'm like, is that Glenda the Good Witch or what? No, you're like the sexy candy queen. Yeah, the women's bonbon queen costume. I I don't know. All right, number one, does it? it I, I appreciate that a lot of people put in a lot of work on cosplay and, and we'll, we'll, we'll put up to any level, like a ridiculous level of inconvenience, but who's going out on Halloween with that fucking thing on? Like, just imagine going on the subway and you're trying to find a place to fucking in that. Yeah. Even I if like you cover it you up. Your boobs into two giant wrapped. Yeah. Boobs. Yeah. Very Katy Perry. Yeah. Only legally distinct. Remember. Yeah. It, this is, you kind of want that giant head thing. I don't. I don't really know what's going on there. That just. I don't care the rest of the costume, but I kind of do want a giant candy <laughs> to have on my head, and I don't know why. It's just it. The whole thing. That, I mean, that seems like way more work than I would be interested in putting in. For a cost for a sexy Halloween costume. Am I right? You know, just managing the damn thing. Yeah. That, that, that there's there's accessories and shit. Uh, well, it wouldn't be one of these without shit being one incredibly trendy because something happens and they focus on it, and two, and two, ridiculously overpriced. Yes, folks. Yandy has entered the chat. Ah, uh, Yandy. What would we do without them? The what's the word costume? Shut the fuck up. It's sexy wordle. It's it's <laughs> sexy. It's sexy fucking wordle. And please note that this is originally priced at $130, but you can get it on a discount for only $60. And that is I not because it looks shiny in one picture and not shiny in the next. Yeah, we, we don't really know what's going on now. Uh, but uh, I do appreciate that they actually created a working 
wordle of like Halloween words. I mean, that probably didn't. Yeah, like creating a wordle, I guess. But the outfit is like, what are we? Okay, what do we put it on? Uh, yeah. uh, what does any of this shit have to do with wordle? Also, I don't know like, if you understand. I don't under- know if the average person understands that white spandex will always be see-through. Yep. So you're going to have to wear something under-, under it anyway. It's just it's going to be whatever you wear under it, it's going to be really, really noticeable. Yeah. Like, unless you're going out and getting like a nude colored bodysuit to put under right? it. Oh, the sleeve says play me. Ew. Is it? Oh, 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 where is it? Let's see if, if I can get a picture of it. Yeah, there it is. There, Perfect picture. There, there. It says, uh, it says play me. Uh, that's just, oh, this is, this is lazy and sad. Yeah. Just... It's not even the right colors. No, it's not. That's the other thing. I was like, how is this wordle? Because there's no green. Right. There's no green anywhere. I guess they were really worried about getting sued. Because I guess. Now the New York Times owns fucking wordle. So. True. Uh, next up, this. And again, we're back to the, we're back to the Jets. And. Um, Oh wow! This the, the, okay. Just I'm I'm going to put it up here. Look at this poor model. He's 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 trying, but look what they stuck him in. Oh, honey. He's trying. Oh, he's trying. The Bedrock Bro men's cartoon character costume. What if Fred Flintstone? was a douchebag <laughs> and i want to point out that the the, the 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 tattoos on the dude he's tatted mm-hmm. up he is tatted up like what if you want to be fred flintstone for halloween but you also want everyone to know that you wax your chest <laughs> This is all right. What the trunks on these? What's going on there? I, I swear to God, they look like a fucking hefty bag. They look like yeah, you, they look shiny. They just look like a fucking hefty bag. What's going on there? Yeah, I love how they went to the links to make this like legally distinct, but just the look on the guy's face. You like, know what? The trunks don't even come with it. That's why, because you just have to put on whatever black shorts you have laying around. Like this is like if the Flintstones meet the Sopranos. This is like the the, the their version of Christopher. <laughs> Flintstones on the Jersey Shore. Yeah. Yeah, but I know. Yes. I kind of watch that. <laughs> if they had the Jersey Shore cast, like do the Flintstones, I think I'd watch that. Okay, that would be fun. Um, now it's time for the descent into hell. We're gonna we're gonna start a little slow and then and slide slowly forward. Um, this one should have been from the beginning. No, everyone should have been involved in saying no. And I don't know what's worse that it exists or that it's sold out. Spirit Halloween, we expected better of you. The adult sexy scout costume. Ew. Ew is right. See. I mean, I can't say I'm surprised. The, the thing here, it's not just the, the costume. It's what you're in the cost. The implications here. Like. <sighs> sold out. I am 100% not surprised. Not, of course not. But the next one is going to surprise you. Did you ever watch Rugrats? Are you even aware of Rugrats? Yeah. Wasn't my favorite, but yeah. I and, did watch it. And, and what's the subject matter of that cartoon, Sarah? Babies. Babies. Right. Yeah. It's just, 
So it's this you know, couple of babies that hang out together. You're not going to show me sexy rugrats. <clears throat> I know you're not. Come on. Angela Pickles. Uh, like, she's the oldest one, but she's like six. There's a Tommy one, too. There's a, there's a Tommy for women. So, also, like, if you know anything about Angelica, she's the fucking worst. Yeah. This is so. Yeah. Um. She's three. Everyone is pointing out she, she's three, three years, three years old. Okay. So what happened was people's. Oh, yeah. Here's here's if you want to have a look the, the Tommy Pickles one there's too. There, there's the Tommy. It's also alongside her. So sexy rugrats. There, there you go. Um, what happened was a bunch of people in a room who made decisions, sat down and said, we need sexy costumes for this Halloween. And one person in that room put up their hand and said, I have an idea. I always thought that bitchy kid from Rugrats was hot. And everyone in the room went along with it. This wasn't just one adult human being making a bad choice. No, it's like, yeah, Carl, that's a great idea. Oh, no, that's Susie. Sorry, that's not Tommy. That's Susie. Sorry. I am not a Rugrats aficionado. I don't remember a Susie. Yeah, Susie was like was like the Tommy, Chucky, Phil and Lil, and Angelica. So Cree Summer voiced her. Cree Summer voices everything. Uh no. Okay. Oh wait, was Susie the token black girl? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You recognize this rug rat character from the sexy Halloween costume. This is a trivia question in hell. Yeah. All right. Now we go to the last one. We've had sexy Freddy Krueger. We've had variants on sexy Freddy Krueger. But someone else, someone, some broken, wrong person thought it was missing something. You know what I thought they we thought it was missing? The implication of nudity. The sexy nightmare costume. Yes. The implication of nudity covered in horrendous burn scars. Yes. yes. If if you if you thought, boy, I'd like to fuck a child molester, but covered I, in burn scars. Yeah, I really gotta see the burn scars. That's what that's what seals the deal. That's what gets me there. Is the burn scars. That's what crosses the finish line. Like it wasn't enough just to wear the striped sweater really skimpy. Oh no, no, no. Had had yeah, to have... you me naked with third degree burns all over my body. Yes. Yes. That that that's how it works. Yes. It's uh and uh yeah. That model just does not fucking care. She's like, paycheck. Like, what? Paycheck. Paycheck, right. That is. And uh, I will say that it's $70 for this $70, 67 or 68 US dollars. Does not include the hat, but they do, of course, give you the gloves. You get the, what's the warning on the costume? Hat not included. Yes, that is deeply upsetting, isn't it? Just, I mean, I suppose you could nix the glove and be like a sexy Giraffe? pepperoni, pepperoni, uh, yeah, pepperoni stick. It, it, you and your friends could all be like a sexy charcuterie board. <laughs> Who the fuck just was like. You know, Freddie, 
Freddie really does it for me, but we, we got to go with the, the full Monty. They never show you like the burn scars, man. It's very upsetting. I told you so. I do not lie. Why not save money and just give you a tub of body paint? Well, you see, because in most places, it's still illegal to walk naked. Yeah. Even if body paint doesn't count as clothes. No. Because, you know, your your bits are still. Yeah. Free. She does have nice marbling. <laughs> Sexy pizza. You know, I, I actually ordered pizza tonight from a place called Sexy Pizza. Their logo is a bear. Not like that cut, like an actual grizzly bear. <laughs> Pretty good pizza. That was. But yet, like, she kind of looks like sexy prosciutto <laughs> if you just take off the glove. So, no sexy Jeffrey Dahmer. No, no one I, that I could find. Thank God officially made one if anyone's making a sexy jeffrey dahmer they're doing it on their own time all right so that is this year's followers god help us i'm still stuck on the sexy rugrats that's not okay that's not okay because the top two here is like the kids or the dude who messes with the kids and that's that's like almost a threesome, and I don't even want to go there. This is horrible. Who wants to fuck this? 